Today in our 2016 Ram 4500, we're going to be taking a look at and showing you how to install the Timberin Rear Suspension Enhancement System, part number TDR5500. If you ever hauled a heavy load or had a big trailer behind your Ram, you probably experienced what a lot of us do, where the back end starts to squat down and we may get a little bit of sway and some body roll back there. And when that squatting happens, we're putting a lot of unwanted strain and stress on the rear suspension. It's going to wear things out over time and really our tires aren't where they should be and our suspension isn't where it should be either. And since the back end is getting pushed down, the front end is getting lifted up slightly, which means our tires aren't going to make full contact. We're going to have irregular tire wear as well as our headlights being out of alignment. But upgrading the rear suspension is definitely going to help with that. It's going to support the load back here and keep our suspension where it should be nice and level and it's gonna prevent as much squatting, and it's also gonna help with body roll because it's gonna be able to counteract that and not sway as much. And since it's not pushing down so hard and we have that extra support in the back, it's not lifting up so much in the front, so we'll have better tire wear, better steering response, and our headlights will be realigned. So now that we've gone over some of the benefits and seen what they look like, let's show you how to get them installed. Here's what our Timberins look like once we have them installed. These are going to provide us a lot better performance whenever hauling a heavy load or towing a heavy trailer because these are going to give us a lot more support and not solely rely on the rear suspension. Our Timberins are going to mount in between the frame and the axle and provide support whenever the suspension starts to drop down. When we're unloaded, it's not going to affect the ride quality because it's not coming in contact. But once it does, it's going to engage softly in the beginning, and as it becomes more compressed, it's going to become stiffer, having a progressive rate. And if we compare our factory John stops to our Timberins, you can see there's quite a bit of size difference. Now what the Timberins is going to do is again provide that support, while our factory John stops are really just there to prevent the truck from bottoming out and the axle from hitting the frame. Our springs are going to be made out of rubber, so they're going to have a little bit of give to them, but a lot of support. They're going to act as a shock absorber, so we can have a more comfortable ride and not have to worry about the bumps and uneven terrain as much. Our springs are going to work independently from each other from side to side, so it's going to help out a lot with those off-center loads. It's also going to help out with a lot of swaying that we may get from our trailer or if we go to make a sharp turn or any evasive maneuver, it's going to cut down a lot on that body roll. In our kit, we're going to get two rubber springs as well as the vehicle specific brackets and we're not going to have to drill anything in order to get them installed. Our Timberins are going to have a 12,000 pound capacity, but keep in mind these are not intended to increase the payload of your truck, they're just there for extra support. So you never want to exceed the manufacturer's recommended weight. To begin our installation, we're going to come to the rear axle and right above that we'll have our factory John stop. I already went ahead and sprayed a little bit of spray lubricant on there, but it's always a good idea to soak it down because these bolts can rust because there's really not anything protecting them, especially if you have a salt truck like we have here. Then you're going to want to grab a 16 millimeter socket and there's going to be a bolt on the back side as well as on the front of our bump stop holding it in place. So we'll pull those out and you want to hold on to the hardware because we are going to reuse it. Now we can get ready to assemble the spring assembly. If we look inside the bottom of the large hole in our Aeon spring, you'll see that there's a washer inside of there. We're going to want to take our long bolt, you want to pass it through the spring so it comes out on the other side, but you want to make sure that it goes through that washer as well. It can be a little tricky. What I try to do is I just drop the bolt in so it'll land straight up and maneuver it around with my finger to where it will drop through and engage that washer. You can see it's going to come out the other end. Then we'll take our spacer slide that over the bolt and then finally we're going to have the top plate and there's going to be a weld nut inside of here. So we're going to want to get an extension and a socket so we can attach all these pieces together. Now the easiest way I found to do it is if we take our assembly 
and we'll drop it down, get it as close as possible to lined up. Then we'll take a 916 socket and extension and go through the spring and thread it into the bracket. Now you want to get that bolt tight enough to where it's not going to be moving around. And you can see if you look inside the bracket that we have threads of the bolt going through the weld nut and our AND spring is not spinning around or our spacer block. Whenever you get ready to install these, you want to make sure you have the correct bracket and it's facing the right direction. The oval hole that's solid is going to be going towards the front of your truck and the slotted one is going to be going towards the back. Now you'll also notice that it's slightly offset from center. You want the holes to be towards the outside of the truck and it is going to be labeled. We'll have left with an arrow pointing front. Now to help us get these in place so we don't have to hold everything and try to thread the bolts in at the same time, if we take our bolt, we're going to thread it in a good way on the very back hole. And that's where the slot and our bracket's gonna come into play. And you just slide the bracket over the bolt and it'll hold itself up while we get the other one in place. We can come back with that same 16 millimeter socket and snug up our hardware. And since we have limited space, you can fit a ratcheting wrench in here to tighten up that last bolt. Now that we have this side on, we're gonna go ahead and repeat that for the other side as well. That'll finish up your look at the Timberin Rear Suspension Enhancement System, part number TDR5500 on our 2016 Ram 4500.